Hello and welcome to this Dot Frost Maths key skill video on describing a reflection in a vertical or horizontal line. Now a reflection is just when a shape is flipped over. And you can see this is flipped over because this is sort of pointing up whereas this is pointing down. So the direction is reversed. Now the first thing we need to do is identify the line of reflection. Now you might be able to see it visually that it's kind of like here, but one way we can do it is to take a point on the original shape and then the equivalent point on the other shape. So this is the right angle here, this is the right angle here. And the line of reflection has to pass exactly halfway between the two points. So can you see this is four squares across, halfway would be two squares in, so we know the line of reflection is going to be here, and you can do the same here. This point has its equivalent point on the other shape here, go halfway between, we can see it's here. And if we join those up, this is our line of reflection. And it just sort of looks visually right. You can see that that shape is reflected over like that in that line. So to get the marks in an exam, we need to do two things. We need to say what type of transformation it is, which is a reflection, as hinted by the title. So it's a reflection. And then we need to give the equation of the line we're reflecting in. So we say in the line, and you could say with equation, and then let's give that equation. Now, if we look at any point on this line, what do you always notice about the coordinates? So if I pick this point, for example, that is minus four, minus one. If I pick this point, for example, that is two minus one, what is always the same? Well, can you see that the y value is always minus one? Here, the y value is minus 1. Here, the y value is minus 1. And therefore, the equation of this line is y is equal to minus 1. And the quick way of telling if you have either a horizontal or vertical line is where it cuts on the axis. So can you see that this line cuts the y-axis at minus 1, and therefore we know the equation is y equals minus 1. Similarly, if we had, say, the reflection line here, then you can see it cuts the x-axis at 4, and so that equation would be x equals 4. So just to summarise, if you're describing this transformation, you need to say it's a reflection, and secondly, you need to identify the line of reflection and give its equation.